You've got mail. Welcome to Paper and Moose. Welcome to the channel. It is mail day. I'm trying to get through mail with the weather being as it is. It is very hard to go out because I dislike very much driving in the snow. So what more, what could be more perfect than opening mail? Let's get to it. So again, thank you to everyone that has sent mail. I say that every time, you're probably sick of it, but I really do thank you all for all the kindness that you have shown me. And I hope that you enjoy my videos. And you know, for those that cannot get out, whether you are snowed in, homebound, um, still a little bit leery about venturing out, then hopefully my videos bring you some kind of comfort, joy, and the ability to get out even though you are in. So thanks for watching. First things first, let's see what this is. This is from Kathy and Tom from Imperial, Missouri. Close my eyes. What in the world? It's a whole bag of goodies. Alrighty, let me get my scissors. Let's see if there is a card, which I believe that there is. Oh, well, there's a recipe and a card. A recipe for pumpkin muffins. Oh, man. I probably don't have what I need to do that. Oh, with chocolate chips. Well, this seems easy enough. Pumpkin puree, eggs, oil, vanilla, chocolate chip, sugar, flour, salt, baking soda, baking powder, cinnamon. That seems easy. Ooh, and they freeze well. It's from, okay, let's read the card. <laughs> Dear Renee, we continue to enjoy your channel. The meaning behind the paper segment on overalls is especially fun and educational. That was a while ago, because this package was sent a couple months ago. So check that out if you want to. It was fun to, I found old advertisements about coveralls. It was pretty fun. And my husband collects service records of Imperial German military personnel from Crimea to World War II. That is a niche. <laughs> my daughter dubbed the display as our adopted ancestors. We can understand and applaud your hanging pictures of everyday people to keep the history alive. I do that and I love that. Too much of our memories can be wiped away by a magnetic impulse or outdated technology. It is a service to treasure the paper. Keep on doing what you do. P.S. The moose stuffed animal was from another estate sale. We both saw it and thought it was meant for you. Well, Pam, guess what? You have another friend. <laughs> yes, I mean, technology, like, like I, I always wonder in 20 years, I think we'll still have photos, but they're going to be probably photos from the 1980s and maybe the 1990s and earlier at flea markets. But pictures from 2015, 2020, where are those going to be? Are we going to be going through old phones or just buying, you know, um, cards, SD cards at flea markets to see what's on them? That's what I wonder about. All right, so this pumpkin muffin recipe. Um, this recipe is from my husband's grandparents who lived in New Jersey. They made pumpkin bread oh, from homegrown pumpkins each year. My bread tended to be gooey in the center, so one day I tried muffins and said, Instead, success. My children suggested adding chocolate chips. It sounded strange, but wow, they are a good mix. They are. Oh man, I can really go for some pumpkin bread right now. That sounds really good. <laughs> I have a weakness for baked goods. Alrighty, so we have, oh, some cute little Halloween bags, baggies. Oh, look at this guy. He's fun. Let's see, I'm guessing his antlers are here. Yes, they are. Uh, moose, moose candy or peanut dispenser from an estate sale, 1990s. Fill the cavity with candy and with the head lowered. Raise the head and catch the treats from the rear. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And then you put the candy in and then they, oh my gosh, see? They come out there. <laughs> that is funny. Daryl. Made in Alaska. Oh, wow. A moose from Alaska. I don't know if I'll be putting candy in him. <gasps> He'd be, that'd be fun to put bottle brush trees in there. That's really funny. 
He's fun. I've never seen one of those. I've seen the plastic reindeer that do that, but not a wooden moose. We'll stick him there for now. And one last item, I believe. Oh, he's so cute. <gasps> he's from Yellowstone. That's so much fun. Yellowstone National Park, Junior Park Ranger. Oh my goodness, look at him. <laughs> I don't think I've seen one of those when I'm at the, the, uh, the park in the souvenir shop. He is so cute. <laughs> thank, thank you so much, Kathy and Tom. I hope that you are well. Pam, you have a Yellowstone friend. Oh, she's excited. She's really excited. And this guy, he's fun. <laughs> Thanks again, Kathy and Tom. Hope you are well. Thank you for watching, and good luck on collecting more of your ancestors from the military. All right, next, this is from Terry in Hood River, Oregon. Let me cut the sides, that helps a little. And we have the card. Renee, I great, greatly appreciate the videos that you post. Hopefully we'll be able to do this full time. Wishes do come true. Oh, that dentist bill. I'm like, oh, that's a fine time for that to come along when I, I quit my job. But anyway, I've been dealing collecting paper ads and magazines for years. I get these items from paper and magazines that are not in the best shape. Yes, people do that all the time. It is very tedious to cut, but you can sell them and make some money. I feel like I can save history so we don't forget where we came from. I've recently started getting into the flipping arena. You're one of the motivating reasons. Do what you enjoy. Well, thank you. The top ad is a very unique Dixie Cup ad. Feel free to add them to your collections or pass on. Thank you, Terry. And if you want to check out, um, they have soon to be their shop on Etsy Oregon Trail Pickers. So check that out. A Dixie ad, that is fun. All right, we taped this part. So we're gonna gently cut that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Now's no time to flirt with Contagion. Dixie Cups. I probably read that wrong. But yes, they made Dixie so that it's a fresh cup. You know, you're, you're not passing along germs and whatnot by using the same cup. So that's one of the main reasons why. Um, fortunately, today, countless soda fountains and other public drinking places are taking extra precautions to safeguard their patrons against such illnesses by serving every customer in a fresh new Dixie Cup. Each cup is used but once and thrown away, thus breaking one of these likely chains of contagion. That is interesting. Oh, look at all these. Yes, old ads, it is amazing. I mean, if you have the time and you come across the, you know, the older magazines, people do buy just the ads, whether they're based on automobiles, trains, buses, but it is, it is tedious work tedious work um, and you might have to sit on some of them oh this was neat you might have to sit on them for some time before you find the right person that come along this is a nice california the luxurious everyday train to california sign me up knob hill coffee that's a great color look at that deliciously yours that is some thick ketchup oh, those look good and the pickles look good too hunt's tomato ketchup so for instance if someone is decorating their kitchen in a retro feel with old advertisements. If you think the red and white checked, they might want an ad like this framed and they'll put it on their, their wall. Just an idea. There's so many. The pianola. Have you heard the name? You have heard the name, but have you heard the instrument? No, I have not. <laughs> Thank you so much, Terry. I hope that your Etsy shop is doing well and your adventure into the paper biz is doing well as well. Next up, uh, we have a package from Greg in North Las Vegas, Nevada. It's filled with all sorts of little things. Hi, Renee, thanks for the hours of entertainment you've provided me. You're welcome. I sent some candles I found at a thrift store. Not sure if they not sure if they are vintage or just look old. Both are fine. Like I tell Taco when I send him something, keep it, sell it, donate it. Thanks to you, I was smart enough to buy a 27-inch blow mold jack-o'-lantern. Oh great. 
the thrift store only wanted six dollars for it i enjoy your channel well that is a great buy greg i would have bought that too i've never found a blow mold oh no i lied i did find two blow molds in the thrift store the angel and the santa they were the harder plastic so oh these are great this one this one isn't old but it looks older you have the ghost and the pumpkins if you can see it through the wrapper and then you have these which are really nice these are older they're fun <laughs> okay then he has the uh, skeleton face with a little crow on his head these are older i'm going to say they're maybe from the 90s i have another ghost and last but not least little witch with her pumpkin so these will look great if you have you know nice black tall candlestick holders or even short ones and put them on display you can maybe make like like their trees so those are fun well thank you so much greg and I'm glad you've scooped up that jack-o-lantern that was a good price last but not least we have two packages these are both from stacy out in tacoma park um massachusetts i'm gonna say it looks like M.A. We shall see. I don't know what one I need to open up first, but we'll go with this one. I'm a little hedgehog. Hello, Renee. I just wanted to send you a few vintage Christmas ornaments. I'm also sending a piece of original artwork. Oh, let's see this. I started researching the artist and found that his ancestry is questionable. Thought it might be interesting. History behind the paper. Please feel free to resell any of the items. Love watching your channel. Thanks for all you do, Stacy. Well, that's interesting. Oh, they're all wrapped up. This is fun. It's Christmas. Christmas every day. Unlike Narnia, where it's always winter, never Christmas. But that, that soon changed. Lion, the Witch in the Wardrobe. I prefer the BBC version. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, look how cute she is. I love her, her body. That's different. I have not seen one like that. She's adorable. I don't want to cut them. I'm sure the sound of the paper isn't that great. So I apologize. Oh, these are nice. Ooh. Wow, great wrapping job. They stayed. So we have, and they have the feather tail. These are in such great condition. So you have the clip-on birds. They could clip onto your tree, and they have the nice little feather in the back. They're rather cute. I have heard a lot more birds lately, which is a sign that spring is hopefully coming, though it's still like six weeks away. We have to have a little girl, <laughs> little angel little rocking horse oh what is this oh fun harry and david spice scented oh that's not oh that smells so good their directions oh place warm tea or coffee on mat to release the scent renew scent by rolling pin oh man it's gonna make me hungry for like a cinnamon bake. <laughs> Everything reminds me of a bacon. Oh, oh, these are so much fun. Oh, this is a different one. I every so often come across the bells on the original packaging, but I have not seen one with this Christmas jingle bells. And it has a cute little lion on the top. Great colors. That's a lot of fun. That's great packaging. Thank you. So I guess we're going, this is what, okay. Huh. So the back says, to Little Wolf, all my respect and admiration. Artist is Jerry Pope. Huh. So I wonder what the questionable item is. We have the lion. Looks like pen and ink. 
as she says. Oh, that's the wrong one. Where did I put that? Here it is. I started researching the artist and found that his ancestry is questionable. Well, I'm going to have to take, take a little search. Ancestry.com, here I come. Jerry Pope. Oh, boy. Always love a mystery. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Stacy, for the little Christmas items and the questionable artist. I'm going to have to take a peek and see what that is all about. Thank you to everyone for all of the items. We have some mousse. We have a Yellowstone mousse. We have some paper and we have some Christmas. All of my favorite things. Thank you for watching. I will be doing another mail video shortly, probably within the next couple of days to a week. So be on the lookout for that. But until then, you can go and watch some of my other mail videos or some of my other videos in general and then catch up on all my thrifting, auction, estate sale adventures. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you all next time.